Hey everybody, Jeremy Blanton with 210 Consulting and I wanted to show everyone today a quick little uh, project I've been working on. Um, you've seen a lot of videos where they show those nice you know, panoramic shots, those nice rolling along sliding shots and uh, I started to do a little bit of research to see um, what kind of tools would be needed to do it and found that if you go out and you buy a camera slider they're going to be about three to four hundred dollars for um, one that's any good um, and they go up a lot more than that so um, I went over to the local hardware store bought a few parts on Amazon and built my own and I'm gonna show you today my do-it-yourself slider that I made um, basically it was made with uh, some just real simple roller bearings that you get for roller blades um, I just went online bought a pack of, of eight roller blades on Amazon it was like 38 bucks for the wheels and the bearings all together and um, went to the local hardware store bought a couple pieces of wood a couple pieces of metal and um, built it out and so I'm gonna show you it next and then I'll finish up by showing you a few shots um, test footage that I did with it hope you enjoy so here is my do-it-yourself slider and um, as you can see it does roll pretty smooth and easily down the track um, it's a four foot long uh, track that I created with two poles. The poles are actually half inch diameter uh, conduit pipes that I picked up at the hardware store. The whole thing is built on a one by six piece of uh, wood, uh, it's like a board, and then a two by six uh, little block on each end. They're only about two inches in width, just to give it enough height for things to glide on. Uh, to secure the pipes, I used two U-hooks, one on each pipe on each end, uh, and there was still a little bit of play in the pipes were rang jangling around and making noise, so I took some self-tapping screws and just screwed it in um, securely so they don't move anymore. The plate for the, the actual slider is just a, a single plate of metal. It's uh, I think like maybe two bucks at your local hardware store. You can find it in the framing section. And then to make these V plates, that's just simply um, an L bracket piece of aluminum. I think it was maybe another two to three dollars for that. I took that, put it on it flatly like this, put bolts, two of them on each side, and that secures it down tightly to the plate. Um, to make the thing slide smoothly, you're going to need to get some good bearings. Um, and so this I went online to Amazon, bought a set of, it has 16 roller bearings in it, and then it also comes with 8 roller blade or inline skates um, wheels that comes with it. The whole set I think was $23, and um, that helps to make it slide really smoothly down the track. Um, now some of the things I found is uh, with a DSLR like this one here, I've got the T3i on with an 18 to 135 lens, is that as you start to use it with something heavier that's front heavy like that, is the the camera wants to slide and roll off of the slider. So to fix that, I did a couple things. First, I put on the each side there is a roller blade wheel actually hooked on with a three inch long bolt that is bolted right on with a plate. And it's just a simple plate like this that you buy at the hardware store, nothing fancy with it. And um, I just tightened it on with some nuts and um, that keeps it on each side from wanting to roll off either end. Uh, and then to balance it so that we have the equal amount of weight on the front as the back, I just took another one of those straight metal plates, hook it on and just put two roller blade wheels uh, that are securely fastened there. What happened with that that I found is not only does it do a good job of balancing, but it also makes for a really nice handle so you have something nice to hold on to as you glide up and down the track. Uh, but that's basically it. Um, one thing I did learn is you need a nice heavy duty sturdy ball head mount. Uh, I just purchased this one. It's a fancier ball head mount. I'll do a full review on that in the future. Um, the one I had first was just real cheap, not strong enough to hold a camera of this size. Um, but you can see it glides nice and smoothly all the way down the track um, and all the way back. And um, here's a couple shots that I got with it, uh, just testing it out and my first time out playing with it. And I think they turned out pretty well. Tell me what you think of it. Leave some comments below.